For over two decades, she's released hit after hit. <laughs> Sultry, with 11 albums and 19 hit singles, Jan Arden has become one of Canada's most successful artists. And now her Christmas album, A Jan Arden Christmas, has become a soundtrack for the holidays. To talk all things Christmas, Jan Arden is with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. I look Jan. so young, Ben. You, and the hair. My hair has had many, many variations it, over there was the years, a jug. but so has yours. Yes, it's true. Well, not recently. It's Do we have escape. Ben's montage? Uh, no, please, no. Do we no. have his hair montage? No, for the good okay. of the country. Let's <laughs> keep that in the vault. Um, Jan, this album came out, has come out, has been out for a while. Came out last year. Last year, but you've now released it on vinyl. Yes, I. Why? You know, isn't that exciting? Because a, there, everyone's Red doing vinyl. vinyl now because vinyl sounds amazing. Look at that. I mean, if you don't look at that, you could eat that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, but I miss the days of laying in my parents' basement, you know, just on the indoor and outdoor carpeting and reading all the stuff on the album. Does it sound better on vinyl? Yes, absolutely. It really, what, I, for, for some, for someone out there who has never seen a record. Tell them what this means and why it's. Ben, think about this. You can download an entire record now, which is great, you know, but you get these really small files, mm -hmm. and they don't always hold up because yeah. you want to crank it in your car and the bass doesn't work. Put on an album, you can crank that thing, mm -hmm. um, and just everything holds up. It sounds great. You drop that needle down and you hear that <laughs> that sizzle, <laughs> and it just is great, great sounding music. Audiophiles love this stuff. They've got their turntables out. Tell me, what's it like putting a, a Christmas album together? It must be different, and I know you're excited, but it must be different than, than putting a, a, a different album together of your own music. Of There's something about the holidays and the music, isn't there? really it? is. People pestered me for 20 years. Yeah. Aren't you going to do a Christmas record? Aren't you going to do a Christmas record? And I always thought, I can't really do a Christmas record until I'm older mm -hmm. and wiser and have some kind of branding. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you do a Christmas record the second year that you're out. Yeah. So and I think people knew what they were getting when they bought this record. And you it's have traditional. To, you have to be a little sentimental, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to love the holidays. I'm still stuck on the Carpenters record from, it was done in the 70s. And Karen and Richard Carpenter did the most amazing Christmas record. But this is really traditional. It is. I, and the yeah. funny part is I produced it with Bob with Rock. With Bob Rock. That's a little. Who's known awesome. for, you know, Metallica yeah. <laughs> and, like, all these hard rock bands. But, you know, Bob's done a lot of stuff with Buble. And, mm -hmm. But this is a really traditional orchestrated record. There's no surprises. I'm not, like, doing melodies where you're going, what the yeah. hell song is she singing? Because <laughs> you know how Christmas records, yeah. it takes you halfway through to go, Oh, that's oh my the God, song. this that's right. is Deck the Hall. Although, can I say I would have loved to hear Meli Kilikimaka? That's Meli my Ki favorite Christmas song. I don't even know what that is. I thought you were swearing Meli at me. Meli Kilikimaka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Is it getting hot no? in here? No. You don't know that? Come on. No, Come on. Somebody at home has got to know that I, song. I did know it. I yeah. just wanted you to sing it a little uh, bit more. Okay. I, you know what? I, I plan on doing seven or, or, <laughs> or eight of these. And I'll, I'll put that on the next one. What's your favorite Christmas memory? I have many, many. But one year, my little brother Patrick, he's five years younger than me. He got up at, you know, three o'clock in the morning after my parents had been rapping all night and unwrapped everything under the tree. <laughs> he ripped everything open and he sat there like he'd just been on some kind of a, you know, a wild ride just in his little... He was in a daze. His, his lime onesie sitting in the living room and my mom and dad just had this pile of paper. Well, I didn't know what belonged to who. Your dad and I had to rewrap everything. <laughs> But you know, he was excited. Yeah. And I couldn't have cared any less if he if they didn't wrap it at all. I mean, my parents yeah. worked really hard and we got a hockey stick every year. <laughs> I miss getting that hockey stick, Mom. I miss it. Now you post so many pictures on your Instagram of your home in Alberta. We love I love your pictures. Sometimes oh. they're just simple and beautiful and Instagram's yeah, a crazy there thing. There we go. And there's there's oh. always this beautiful road in the background. What's Christmas gonna be like this year? Well, it's always uh, very interesting. Lots of uh, stragglers coming along. Uh, my brother's family, uh, they, his wife was divorced, so she's got two kids from a previous marriage and his kids. And then I've got nieces and nephews from my other brother. I mean, I don't even know how many people. Can you cook a turkey for like 18 people? I'm not even sure. See, at my house, we, we put one in the oven and we deep fry one. Does that even work? It's fantastic. You're not allowed, you can't eat the skin, but it doesn't make it greasy. It just superheats well, it on the, the inside. What's the point if you can't eat the skin? Yeah. I'm, you've lost me. No, what you do is when you, then you just hoard the skin from the other one. Make okay. sure that nobody else gets any, and that's for you. 
I just can't imagine that being healthy, but I guess it doesn't. Oh, it's not healthy the... at all. No, no, oh, no, no. Okay. It's terrible no, for good. you. This isn't the health. You're no. not. This isn't the health thing. <laughs> I want to talk about your dog because hopefully he's not up uh, yet. It's a she. Oh, she. Ben. It's a little girl, Mitty. Mitty. She's very famous. How, how am I supposed to know that Mitty <laughs> is a female name? I don't know. She was named after Bette Midler, but Midler only lasted about. Oh, two days, and yeah, then everything and then gets abbreviated. Yeah, so, so what's Mitty. Mitty getting for Christmas? Let's assume Mitty, she's not watching. Mitty's getting clothes, okay. a lot of clothes, uh, extra bags of treats. Uh, we tried the boots last year. Those went over like a lead balloon. She just wouldn't walk. She just stood in the hallway. But, you know, the, it, I don't need anything. I, I'm telling people this year just to get me a goat. D We've got one for yes. you. Yes. Fantastic. Well, listen, we want to wish you the very best, and we know that you're getting the, uh, you're inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame next year, so you're getting that gift. There we go. I'll hold that up. <laughs> Be sure to grab a Jan Arden Christmas on red vinyl. And for more details on Jan's Christmas shows, you can find a link on our website, yes, yourwoman.ca. And don't forget, don't miss Jan on the Social's Christmas special on December 18th. She's everywhere. I'm everywhere.